we're off. There goes the new Honda. Thank God that's over with. Holy mackerel. So I'll tell you what happened. Let me get in the truck. Bear with me. All right, so it is, let's see what time, what time it is. Got here a little bit before 10. It's uh, quarter to 12 and ended up getting the car. Ended up getting an extra $250 off the price today. So it came down to, I think it was less, it was $20,100 something dollars for the car. I did purchase the extended warranty, $770 on the car. That way we get road service and everything else. And a free rental car, if the car has to stay overnight, I wanted that for D, so she has an extra, has, always has a car. Uh, added that into the financing and we got a really good rate I think of about 2.7 on the car um, and they did add the extended warranty in there but instead of paying cash for it just added that on to the payment and I think they made about well maybe sixty seventy dollars interest on it over the price of it uh, I also had them knock down the Tag and title to $89. It was at $202. So saved a bunch more money today. Uh, they did put a set of wheel locks on the car. That's part of their Honda package. But if you can see down there on the floor, that's another set that was in the glove box of the car. So I'll use them for credit or on eBay. Uh, I also got four standard lug nuts for the car because I don't see any reason for us to have wheel locks on our tires where we live and all that so I'll take them off and I'll just keep them always afraid I'm gonna lose that wheel lock so we're not gonna use them so it's a done deal she's on her way I've got both phones synced up on the on the computer on the uh, car pretty intense all the stuff they have on that car so I got I took the CD Right over there. Right over there. For uh, viewing pleasure when I get home so I can figure out all the systems on the car. We'll both look at that so we know what's going on. And uh, it's a good day. I really can't complain. The F and I guy about had a heart attack when I went in there yelling at him. And uh, I gave my... How I felt to the salesman. Got another service manager involved he's the guy that called me Friday night told me they had the wrong color car and he apologized profusely what can we do what can we do so last night I actually signed up for a crown card that is the discounts only good at the time of purchase and along with that you would get a uh, $250 discount on the price of the car and I think it's two free oil changes and a set price for the other changes. So I did good. Saved a whole bunch of money. Mama's happy. Mama's happy. I'm happy. So got it done. It was a little bit stressy there for a bit, but you know, being in the car business before, I knew what was going on. Uh, the only thing I'm going to do when I go home, I'll go ahead and do a car, car fax on the serial number and all that. Make sure everything's clean on and nothing been wrecked on the car and all that. And they got 180 miles on it from where they picked it up in Fort Pierce. And the car averaged 27.9 miles a gallon. So big plus for her. She's happy. And uh, there you go. So the cat is uh, heading down to the Mahaffey Theater. 
this weekend we're going to go see uh, the Florida Orchestra. And the venue is Las Vegas Rat Pack Music. So that's going to be pretty cool. The Mojave is right next to the Dolly, so I'm heading downtown, of course. And I uh, want to go to the ticket office. I actually want to go into the place and see how the seats are in there. So we can get a couple of nice seats and uh, go from there. I do have more Skinner to a couple more songs to put up. And that was just a killer concert. Wow. I'm still dehydrated two days later. <laughs> we had some fun though. All right, so thumbs up for me, getting more money off. I'm all about the the Benjamins, dead presidents, that's me. Hey look, they're looking for work. Drivers wanted for yellow cab. They may get a job with yellow cab. And this front, it was just raining a little while ago. You can see the front of my car is all full of rain and leaves from that dealership. Um, cold front's coming in. It's supposed to be a high of 59 tomorrow. Woohoo! I'll just stay in the house. Only kidding. I'm trying to think the best way to get downtown from here. Ooh. Lights on for safety. Wow, and that, that the navigation system and the stereo in the car, very, very cool. I definitely need to watch the video so I can figure that out because I'm a, I'm old school. Don't know. I was going to pull the rug, the, the mat like this. I have a D-score off the car, but when I pulled it off last night, the glue from the double-sided tape I think I even glued the double-sided tape to the car. I didn't want to take that off because if I did and I used the wrong cleaner for the glue, it would have left the dash all white looking. So that's the only thing I left in the car, that old nasty rug on hers. And I did buy her a set of black rubber floor mats on eBay last week. I already got them at the house. Took the rubber tub out of the back, so anybody's got a CRV that needs a rubber tub for the back, man, let me know. I've got one available. If it's a 2007 to up to a 2014. I think I'm going to get soaked down here going to the theater. We'll see. All right. I'll let you go. Gotta do some intense driving action here. How about that race yesterday? My last thing. What happened to Jeff Gordon? Why did he even pull off? I I don't know what happened to him. Why he pulled off the track like that? I watched all the interviews after the race. I didn't see anything about him, so I'll have to find out today why he pulled off. If it was tires that were bad or what. I, I just don't get that. Alright. See ya. Porsche dealer, oh yeah.